if your windshield wipers are not working well anymore and you have to replace them please don't replace them with another based on rubber you want to use a silicone base like this one uh, because they will last a lot longer so if you're gonna buy the typical ones they sell at AutoZone or um, even at Walmart the rain x or one of those they are all rubber based you don't want to do that because they will try to sell those those ones every six months or every year and this one lasts for years and it's a piece of cake to replace them let me show you start by pulling up the windshield wiper then tilt it a little bit and it has there is a notch here right here that you have to pull push inwards and once you do that then pull downwards the windshield wiper until they, that hook comes out so you can see it here again I'll, I'll, it's like putting it back there out and out it goes so this is the old one so this is the old one that i took out this is the silicone base one now this one here it's 26 inches for example on my case and this one is shorter, 22 inches. That is why you have, I bought 22 and 26. You have to check what, if you go and look for PIAA it will, and you put your cars, model and, and whatever it is, it will tell you, oh, you need 26, 22 or 24, both, whatever that car is. Now, they come with certain hooks here. C1, 2, 3 and 4. In this case, I'm using the C1. So when I got this one, I got the C1 and I put it right there. You just press it and it goes in there. So it's exactly the same hook that the old one, the original one has. So now it's a matter of putting it back to where it was. Let me show you again. So you put it back again by aligning that hook with this one. You don't have to press that notch anymore because you will hear it clicking. That's it. So simple as that. Put it downwards. You're done with the 26 inches. Then you do the 21, the 22 inches on the other side and you're set for ears.